Denver. And it sounds like Hunter Biden right now might be showing up if we want to start walking this way. But he could be on his way right now. As I said, this is part of the Hunter Biden's effort right now to really show that he is making every effort to comply with the subpoena to appear for a deposition. Time and time again, he said he's willing to talk to Republicans, at least in a public setting. It's really hard to argue that he's in contempt because he refused to testify. It's just the forum, secret or in public for everyone to see it. <laughs> Hello and welcome back everyone. As you've probably seen by now, Hunter Biden decided to show up for a theatrical performance at the House Oversight Committee vote to hold him in contempt for ignoring congressional subpoenas. But before I get into that, a quick history lesson. The modern trend of ignoring congressional subpoenas was started by Democrats back in 2012 when they launched a similar stunt at a vote to hold Barack Obama's AG in contempt for ignoring congressional subpoenas in regards to the Fast and Furious scandal. Walking out of the vote, which of course CNN and MSNBC seat loved at the time. Then, of course, those standards went right out the window when a Republican ignored congressional subpoenas, Steve Bannon, and was then sentenced to four months in prison. Oh, that was different. That brings us to the present, where the rules have once again changed for Democrats. Don't ask me, I don't know. Because according to CNN and MSNBC, Hunter Stump proves that he wants to comply with subpoenas, and it's just different when they do it. And if you want to do something different with your investments, check out this opportunity from Noble Gold and get a free coin while you're at it. If you're trying to navigate market turbulence, why not set course to the Noble Gold Investment Safe Haven? With global uncertainty looming, your savings and retirement plans are under siege. But there's one asset that has stood the test of time, gold. Unlock the peace of mind that comes with owning gold, the ultimate safe haven. With gold at an all-time high and looking to climb further, it's the perfect time. Open a Noble Gold Investments IRA and secure your future with a free gold bullion coin. Act now before it's too late. Call 877 646-5347 and claim your free coin now before it's too late or visit noblegoldinvestments.com that's noblegoldinvestments.com and remember there's always risk of investment and there are no guarantees of any kind yeah, I am standing outside the House Oversight Committee right now. They are moments away from beginning this markup to hold the Hunter Biden, Bi President Biden's son, in contempt of Congress for refusing to sit for a closed door deposition. But we just got reporting from my colleague Annie Greer that Hunter Biden himself is expected to show up today in front of this hearing in some capacity. Now, it's all fluid right now, but this is the expectation that he is going to show up. Uh, and it is similar to what he did when he was scheduled to appear for a closed door deposition deposition in December. He has said all along that he doesn't want to appear for a closed door deposition. He only wants to testify in a public setting. <laughs> Whoopie fucking do. Oh, really? That's what Hunter wants, is it? Because that's how this works, right? The person being investigated gets to choose the terms of the subpoena. No, you idiot! He's worried about Republicans selectively leaking his testimony, and instead he did a press conference in front of the Capitol. But Republicans still say that was not enough for them. They've decided to move ahead with contempt proceedings, so we're expecting both oversight and judiciary to mark up resolutions that would refer Hunter Biden to the DOJ and hold him in contempt of Congress. That would then head to the House floor and it sounds like Hunter Biden right now might be showing up if we want to start walking this way. What the f*** is this? Hunter Biden is ignoring subpoenas because he wants to control the situation and make a big public stunt of it, which as you can see, the media is more than willing to play their part in. Let me give you another quick history lesson, which I guarantee you none of these lying hacks will. But the Democrats themselves use the exact same procedures when dealing with witnesses related to J6 and Trump's impeachment. Like in 2019, when House Oversight Democrats wanted to bring in Donald Trump Jr., Eric, and Ivanka in for closed door testimony. Or like in 2022, when Steve Bannon offered to testify before the J6 committee in public. Oh, that was different. But Democrats went out to the media. Steve Bannon who's now indicating that he might be willing to testify in public. Joining me now is a member of the January 6th committee, Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren of California. Would it be a public hearing or would it be behind closed door? Ordinarily, we do um, depositions. Uh, you know, this goes on for hour after hour after hour. We want to get all our questions answered and you can't do that in a live format. Oh, that was different. Or how about when Jamie Raskin insisted on closed door testimonies? The lesson is, uh, please tell your children out there in America, if you get a subpoena to go before Congress or you get a subpoena to go to the court, go. 
you have a legal responsibility to go. Mm -hmm. Would it be closed door with Bannon or do you want to, because he could go up there and pontificate if it was a public live hearing. The way that we have treated every single witness is the same, that they come in, they talk to the committee. uh, If they're going to take a deposition, they're sworn under oath. It's videotaped, it's recorded, uh, and then we take it from there. Now that is irony. I think it's his way of saying, I will testify. I've always said I will testify. I'm not going to do it in secret. I'm going to do it in public. So that, to me, is his statement that he's making today. He has always said he will testify. He just doesn't want to do it in secret. So it's really hard to argue that he's in contempt because he refused to testify. What? How is it hard to argue when Steve Bannon got prison time for the exact same thing? It is truly sick and mind bending just how low our corrupt press is willing to go to defend the corruption of their party because they believe that their opposition are literal white supremacist Nazi Confederates who are going to destroy democracy then kill the earth. All right, folks, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you've lasted this long, might as well hit that like button. Thanks. And I'll see you all in the next one.